I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you my dear friend. I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is another day that God has given us. It is a day to live to the fullest. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I know, trust and believe as we spend time together today, God is going to bless you. God is going to take you to a greater glory. My dear friend, I want to speak to you about something and this is so important. This is so important that every born again believer hears this. And I want you to do something, share this with your family, share this with your friends, encourage them to listen to this because this message is so important, especially in this time. Now, the title of my message is The Importance of the Will of God and a Genuine Relationship with God. And that is obviously through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus, make sure that you take time to give your life to Jesus. If you don't know how to give your life to Jesus, it is very simple. I want you to do something. Go to the Bible. Go to Romans 10 verse 9. Search. If you don't have a Bible, search online. Take your cell phone. Search for Romans 10 verse 9 and confess and follow the instruction in there and it will lead you so that you can give your life to Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus is the way. He paid the price and he made a way for us so that we can come back to him. Now, I want to share with you about the importance of the will of God in our lives as believers and also the importance of a genuine relationship with God. The Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, from verse 21 to verse 23, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me you workers of lawlessness. Now, I want to read this slowly and I want to emphasize what the Lord has spoken to me that I need to share with you. The first part is so important. It says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, we have seen so many people, they're using grace as an excuse to stay in acts that God has clearly convicted them and said, these things are wrong and these things need to change. The Holy Spirit speaks to us on our heart and He shows us the way that we must go, my dear friend. And many people around the world have taken an opportunity and they're using grace as a license to sin. But grace is not a license to sin, but indeed it is actually a divine pardon. I want to go on and read, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. It's so important that we as born-again believers walk in the will of God. It's so important that we live and walk in His ways. It's so important that we be the difference in our community. Are you being the salt and light to the world? Are you being a difference? Are you walking in the way that God wants you to walk in? Are you walking in the will of God for your life? Are you walking in your purpose and your destiny? Or are you doing your own thing? So many people out there are doing their own thing and they think they are walking in the will of God. It is so important that we walk in the will of God. It goes on and it says, But the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Wow, this is so powerful. It shows that even prophets, people who are prophesying, People who are speaking forth words of prophecy will be asking, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? It goes on to say, and cast out demons in your name, even deliverance workers, even people who are casting out demons in the name of Jesus and do many mighty works, even miracle workers. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, 
you workers of lawlessness. Now, the part that stands out to me so much over here, my dear friend, is the part that says, I never knew you. It is so important that we pray daily, that we pray all the time and we don't quench the fire. It is so important that we develop a relationship with God. You know, the will of God is made clear in the Word of God. If you want to walk in the will of God, take the Word of God and make the Word of God the standard for your life. In your business, take the Word of God, make it the standard for your life. In your workplace, take the Word of God, make it the standard for your life. In your marriage, take the Word of God, make it the standard for your life. In your family, take the Word of God, make it the standard for your life. By doing this, you will pass the test of being the salt and light to the world. And when you stand next to someone who has not given their life to Jesus, automatically there will be a difference. Furthermore, we must develop a relationship with God. We must develop our personal relationship with God by praying and seeking God daily. Seek God, pray all the time, don't quench the fire. Begin to know the Lord, know what God wants, how God loves to move, how God speaks. Begin to develop a personal and a deep relationship with God. It is so important that we as born again believers develop that relationship with God for ourselves. Not through a man, not through a woman, not through a man of God, not through a certain woman of God, but for ourselves. We need to get to know God because yes, there are good men and women of God around the world, but they won't be there in that time when you stand before the throne. It is only going to be you and God. It is important that you develop that relationship with you and God. Become on fire for God. Right now in this time period, in this time, we are living in the end times. There is no better time to be on fire for God than now. Become on fire for God. Don't feel shy to talk about Jesus. Talk about Jesus. Share your faith. Talk about what Jesus has done for you. Don't hold it back. Share your testimony. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Overcome the devil in your community. Overcome the devil in your, in your environment, in your workplace, in your business by testifying and applying the blood of Jesus. Get closer to Jesus. Begin to know what Jesus wants for your life. Begin to develop that deep and personal relationship with Jesus and you will see what Jesus can do for you. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take yourself on your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and God will change your life forever. God will bless you. In saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, we praise you. We glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name. We lift up your holy name. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You alone deserve the glory. You are our God and we praise you. We glorify your holy name. Be glorified, O Lord. Be magnified. Be lifted high. Father, you're worthy of all praise. You're worthy of all honor. You're worthy of all glory. Be glorified today in my life and in my dear friend's life. Thank you for this word that you've given us because we are living in a time when we need to be the real deal. We don't want to be fake. We don't want to be lukewarm because you said if you're neither hot nor cold and you are lukewarm, you will spit us out. But we don't want to be lukewarm. We want to be hot, blazing and on fire for you. We want to walk in the will of the Father and we want to know you, Jesus. We want to know you. I give you praise even as you take my dear friend to a closer place with you, that my dear friend will walk in the will of the Father and know you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence, and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you, and He is going to take you up. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important thing is to welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, touch me. Take me closer to you. Take me closer to Jesus. Help me. Reveal to me the will of the Father. Help me to read the word and make it the standard for my life. And help me to get closer to Jesus. I want to have a deeper and a more intimate relationship with Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to be added onto the daily prayer list and we are going to pray with you. 
Our God is good, our God is gracious, and He shall supply all of your needs. In saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Release the grace over my dear friend that my dear friend will have a desire for your word. And Father, I pray that even in this time period, my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter will be so on fire for you that they will stand out, that they will be the salt and light in that environment. Father, I pray that you will release the grace over my dear friend, that my dear friend will walk in your will, will take your word and make it the standard for their life. Release the grace that my dear friend will be able to develop their relationship with you daily by praying, by seeking you, by spending time with you in moments of worship in high places. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you that you may get closer to God. And even as you do so, may God give you the desires of your heart. May God take you up. May you be on fire for God. May you walk in the grace of God for your life. May you walk in the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. May you walk in the will of God for your life. And may you know, may you taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. May you taste of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May you taste and see that God's blessing makes rich and adds no sorrow. It means it comes with no sorrow. May you receive the blessing that comes with no sorrow in Jesus' name. And may you go up to a greater glory, a greater level, a greater altitude in Jesus' mighty name. Until tomorrow, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.